one. What's going on, guys? Moon Platoon. I am talking to Crypto Jeb right here. He is with us in the chat, the fastest mouth on crypto and stocks this side of the West. And Professor Meatball and I are excited to have him. Thanks for coming on, my man. Thank you so much. How you doing, Andrew? I'm doing well. I don't have a. Uh, can Can you lean to the side? I want to see that sign, the neon yeah. sign there. Check it out. Bitcoin accepted here. So we are here to talk about the crypto rally as well as the AMC rally. You'll notice that there are major changes to how the uh, the inverse relationship of the crypto and the meme stocks have played out in the past. We usually see uh, hedge funds trimming down the fatty calves, being able to cut into their savings, right, with the volatile stocks, the ones that uh, might be on the, you know, take it or leave it sector. Tesla was a big example of how it was in Inversely running, but crypto for many of the past uh, points that we can point at inversely correlates with AMC and GME. However, today AMC is up nearly 20% as we speak, and crypto is up a huge amount as well. Jeb, uh, I'll let you take the floor. What do you think is going on here? Yeah, so Bitcoin has been pumping quite a bit over the last 48 hours or so. It bottomed out around $36,000, I want to say off the top of my head, and it's rallied now to sitting uh, just at $40,000. It's rallied, depending on where exactly you measure it, roughly uh, 10 to 15 percent. In that time period, we've seen a couple of things happen. Uh, number one, we saw a bullish tweet, if you will, coming out of Elon Musk. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Elon Musk because he seems to be moving every market he talks about. I'm sure the Securities and Exchange Commission is very interested to uh, do some more in, uh, investigation on that one. But oh, nevertheless, yeah. he came out and he was talking about how, hey guys, whenever um, Bitcoin, whenever we sold 10% of our Bitcoin, we were not uh, being FUD. We we're not trying to instill FUD on Bitcoin. He was saying that they were just proving liquidity. Uh, that proved that uh, that proved to rally the Bitcoin market. And also we saw him talking about how Tesla wants to move in the direction of accepting Bitcoin again. If they can find that over half of miners are actually mining with green electricity. That's one of the things that I've been seeing happen lately. Bitcoin has pumped. Now I'm not that, I don't follow AMC and uh, all the game and game stocks and everything as closely <laughs> as you do. I'd love to hear from you what you're seeing happen over there. I know Bitcoin has been rallying. You were just telling me a little bit about an inverse correlation that was going on between those two different asset classes. What is that looking like? Well, the original relationship that we see is, for example, during the gamma squeeze over on AMC side a week and a half ago, that was 95% up on the daily, right? Actually was up 130% or so on the height of the day, but consolidated around 95% up. That day, crypto markets were screaming, right? They uh, correlated much with the rest of the market, which we saw some margin calls play out throughout the day. That is also where after T plus two, we had some data coming out two days after the fact, the short interest on AMC started to plummet, the one that we can actually calculate. So in that sense, it made, uh, it made Made logical sense, Captain, that we are looking at the rest of the market uh, exiting their positions, for the hedge funds at least, to get enough capital to strike at the meme stocks. However, now it seems like everyone is flush, right? Even the long whales and the short whales have the same amount of crypto earnings uh, from these past weekend. We were expecting more hedge fund effery, and yet we see both of these running up. Now, Elon definitely is largely integrated into that news cycle. So tell me, what do you think about Elon after what he said about Bitcoin earlier? And can we trust him to hold Hold those diamond balls once again. I don't know. You know, I was at a meeting with uh, some other leaders on uh, Wednesday of last week, and someone was asking me because it's a bunch of different business owners, and they asked me because I'm the crypto guy, what do you think about Elon Musk? And I looked at him, I said, I wish Elon Musk would delete his Twitter account. I'm going to be honest with you. Now, I'm not a cancel guy. I'm not saying we cancel Elon. That's not what I'm saying at all. But for the sake of the price action of Bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrency market, I think I speak for all of us when I say, Elon, we love you. We love your cars. SpaceX is really cool. I was going to go into astro physics as a kid. I'm a massive space nerd. I love SpaceX. Please stop talking about Bitcoin because every time you do it, it moves the price. Here's my take on this, and I'm sure you see this in the stocks world as well. Whenever a major name starts talking about a stock or about a cryptocurrency or about an investment, a lot of times it becomes very popular, and then everybody goes on Robinhood, and they start buying a ton of it, right, or they sell it. And that's what we've seen happen over the last six months, and this is one of the major points that I've been making over on my channel. I've been talking about how, as investors, it's very important that we stop listening so much to what people say and start paying more attention to what people do. Yes, Elon Musk has been talking sweet nothings in our ear sometimes about Bitcoin, and other times he's saying that the sky is falling, not literally, but people seem to take it that way, and it drops the price action of Bitcoin. Elon Musk right now can be trusted to do one thing. 
and that is look out for himself in Tesla. Mm. What is best for Tesla is for Bitcoin to look like a major threat to the green movement so that Tesla can come in and start offering services like solar and battery technology to help move miners in the direction of green technology. So can we trust Elon Musk to say good things about Bitcoin or bad things about Bitcoin? The one thing I can trust Elon Musk to do is to stick to his own philosophy and to look out for his own company. And that is more than likely going to lead to him pointing out problems on Bitcoin that he as an entrepreneur and a CEO thinks that he can solve. So that's my take on Elon Musk, but also my take on everyone else in the cryptocurrency market. Let's not get too caught up on what we do with our investments from the perspective of what is this guy doing? Let's look at the fundamentals over the long long term and see how that's impacting things. So that's my take. I want to take talk about fundamentals in a second because of how disconnected it is from the meme stocks, AMC and Genie. Ape stocks, let's start talking uh, the facts here. But one thing I want to say is my relationship with Elon Musk, very tenuous to say the least. Uh, I've sold my Bitcoin at 40,000 and that was right before Elon's tweet. Um, and that made me miss out on supreme FOMO. I needed more funds to uh, direct towards the, uh, the Ape stocks, AMC and GME. But right then and there, I was like, Man, one man can really cause this much uproar, and it might have been, you know, something that. Do you regret now that that meme stock was, uh, you know, left behind in the lurch? Because we were talking about Papa Elon coming in and pumping up GME and AMC. He did not. Instead, he went around to Bitcoin, then dumped it. Now he's coming back. What do you think? Is this the parents that we don't deserve? Uh, what would it What would it take for a a single man, a whale, to come out and help out the ape stocks? What do you think? Do we want that or not? Well, I mean, if we're moving price action based on what people think, then yeah, the thing that's going to be very bullish for GME and a uh, and uh, GameStop and AMC and all of these different uh, stocks is going to be for Elon Musk or some other major power player to come in and say, "Hey, I love these now, right?" That's what's going to drive the price action if we are building our price action based on the opinions of influential people. Now, I think we most certainly should listen to influential people because chances are they became influential, especially if they're business owners and founders, by being very intelligent people. Mm. But what we really need to do is we need to be looking at those fundamentals. The fundamentals of GME and the fundamentals of AMC are what I'm really interested in. Now, the thing is, I don't know because, as you know, I'm not really too much into the stock world. I'm mostly staying cryptocurrency, so I'm not talking in my own realm of expertise here. I don't know how much of the fundamentals are building on that and how much of that is hype. If a lot of that is being built on hype and FOMO and people trying to ride a wave, then yeah, you absolutely want Elon Musk to come in and talk about those. So it comes down to trading versus investing, in my opinion. If you're planning on investing in something, you need to be looking a lot at the fundamentals. If you're planning on trading something, then you need to look at the things that are going to affect the price action of the commodity or asset you're in from day to day. If that's Elon Musk, then you got to pay attention to Elon Musk. If the assets price is being moved massively by influential power players, and that's the thing that gets the price to go up, and they're not talking about it, then yeah, you got a problem. So anyone who's invested in those stocks, then yeah, you want to be looking for Elon Musk to say something about them. Of course, I can't speak for Elon Musk. I don't know if he's going to, but I mean, that's that's kind of how I see it. So the way that Jeb just mentioned this is an inc important distinction. I want, in case you're coming from Jeb's channel, right? I want to tell you, hey, welcome, right? Hope you have a load off. Hope you had a nice eight minutes of this video. But I want to tell you that if you are thinking that AMC and GME is a trade, is what traders want to be able to, uh, oh, beautiful scalping pleasure. I love to be able to make money on the way up, down, up, down. That's not what the ape movement is about, right? I'm gonna tell you right now that from the perspective of the ape, diamond hands is the most important aspect of it right that as much as we love to uh, call for the rips or as much as we love to buy the dips we are not here to be fickle day traders so that's an important distinction that I'm sure mainstream media is going to look at and talk to uh, distraction meme stocks like look at you know uh, Orphazyme right look at uh, Clover and say those stocks they got pumped up to the sky must mean that all apes are day traders right that's an important distinction but fundamentals is something that I do want to be able to talk about in terms of AMC the open Opening up new theaters, brand new box office smashes, getting released, and GameStop pushing out a brand new C-suite that uh, means that they care about what goes into the direction of the company moving forward. Uh, but but yes, enough about the the connection, right? I want to give Jeb a little bit of time to talk about what goes on in his channel and what you'll find on over there if you guys click the link in the description and head on to his channel. Yeah, so what we do over on our channel is I try and exemplify the importance of not learning what to think, but learning how to think. It is my opinion that the people that become the most successful in this world who go and start a GameStop or an AMC or a Tesla are the people that invest in themselves, 
then they invest in others, then they build infrastructures that allow for them and an organization to invest in other people and build a great company. Now, I don't think everybody should be an entrepreneur or neutral. I think that everybody wants to be an entrepreneur, but greatness starts with concerted effort and self-improvement and using that self-improvement to learn tricks and skill sets and tools that will make you very successful. Now, there's many ways to judge success, but of course, success is judged one way by monetary. And if you want to make a lot of money in cryptocurrency and in the stock world, you got to understand technical analysis and you got to understand fundamental analysis. Those two things right there make up 80% of what you'll be doing as an analyst, trader, or investor. So it's really important that you understand those things. That's what our channel is about. I teach our people on our channel how to think about those topics so that they can go out and become more profitable traders, investors, and citizens of the world, I suppose. So I love that. Do. I should have, I needed Jeb's channel back when I was deciding. So I did buy back into Bitcoin. Um, I think I tripled what I had in Bitcoin before uh, Elon's tweet. And I bought it right there, the 32,000 low. But I use a different tool. Go. I use Cheat Code Algorithm. Um, but I could have used Jeb Crypto's channel, Crypto Jeb's channel. So once again, the link's in the description. Go check him out. Go subscribe over to his channel. And thanks again, Jeb. We'll see all of you in the money. Peace.